My, my name is Francis Cronin. I'm a correctional supervisor. I was involved in a fairly serious, very serious prison riot in 2000 and, um, 2009. Yeah. Um, it's funny how you remember things. It's 13th of December 2009. It sort of um, it just sticks in my memory. It, 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 um, it, was a diff it was a very crazy time. In, the, in that particular incident, um, a close friend of mine was assaulted um, and I was in the area, I was in the accommodation unit um, before it happened. And I heard the code black and I went downstairs and I saw he was I saw another uh, uh, another of my colleagues who was completely disorientated. Um, had he had a head wound, had blood dripping down his face, um, and he was pointing that uh, at, at somebody else. Um, I ran downstairs and saw my friend, yeah, friend and colleague on the ground having the absolute shit kicked out of him by some inmates. I finished up my report and went home and I'd already rung my wife and said oh, I'm going to be late. Um, you know, um, got home, just started crying. Um, and then blurting out, you know, what had happened and it sort of all, it was all jumbled and I didn't, I really didn't make any sense of it and my wife didn't want me to go back to work. She lost her mother a, a month beforehand and when she saw me go back to work she just started breaking, she broke down in tears. So I can't deal with, I'm, I'm still trying to deal with the grief of my mum, losing my mum and then I feel like I'm losing you too, you know, and, and she did, she did lose me. Um, she lost me for a long, long time. I had um, times where I initially started to have suicidal thoughts um, and had gone through I was diagnosed with PTSD um, quite early on. I suff I've suffered from depression and, and anxiety. In the next few years, I went to a number of um, different psychologists to get help. I got the referral to come and see, come and, see and Greg and um, started my true healing then um, and it was a different it's far different approach about not not interested in the context the story just um, the way I, I, I thought of you know the thinking processes and that sort of I don't know why it worked for me but it just did <laughs> It's a very different approach and it's one that works for me um, because I think if you get to my experience of getting too tied up in the story and I was tied up in the story for such a long time, having that uh, sort of anxiousness about, you know, that dread, I should say, that you know, what's going to happen today, you know. Lost all, you know, that just sort of completely evaporated, just going in, you know, had enjoyed the moments more, you know, um, just started to live, live my life free of that sort of anxiety. You know, I'm so grateful that um, I, I've met uh, met those guys and, and work with them, and they just 
took me in a completely different direction. Just been a, a, a fantastic journey. One that I, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm keen to. I, I, I just continue uh, and see. You know, I love to see where this, where it, you know, where the, the story is going to go. <laughs>